Welcome guys! Time has come to look into the new 6x scope and find out exactly where you need to aim on the different distances, which is important since you cannot change the zeroing of the scope. While doing this I will also test the rangefinder and show you how to use it. The reticle has a unique design exclusive to the 6x scope. I will be testing using the car 98 k and the SKS. On 100 meters you need to hit in the center of the scope. Since that is the distance, the scope is default 0 to. And the same is relevant for the SKS. At 200 meters, you need to use the first line when aiming with the car 98K. Which is the same for the SKS. For 300 meters, we can now start using the rangefinder located in the lower left corner of the scope. The height of a standing target fits between the lines on the 300 meter marking. This means that if the player is 300 meters away, we should use the second line on the reticle to aim using the car 98. However, for the SKS, we need to aim between the first and the second line. This is due to the SKS having less bullet drop on shorter distances. At 400 meters, the rangefinder checks out again, and the enemy fits between the lines on the 400 meter mark. Using the car 98K, we need to aim using the third line on the reticle. For the SKS, the aim point is between the second and the third line. On 500 meters, the standing target fits between the lines on the 500 meter rangefinder. And the car 98K logically requires you to aim using the fourth line to hit your target. Which is also the same aim point for the SKS. At 600 meters, the enemy fits between the lines on the 600 meter rangefinder, and you guessed it, the car 98 aim point jumps another line. The SKS aim point also jumps a line on this distance. At 700 meters we have no rangefinder, but the car 98k aim point is shown here, just below the 6th line. The SKS aim point drops all the way to the 2nd lowest line and now has more bullet drop than the car 98k. At 800 meters the rangefinder works again, and hitting a pan at this distance is challenging but not impossible if you aim right below the second lowest line. And 800 meters with the SKS requires you to aim right below the lowest line. So the rangefinder works, but is only designed for standing targets. The aim points for the car 98k makes sense up to 600 meters. Aim points for the SKS are a bit off as the SKS has less bullet drop than the car 98 in the beginning of the bullet travel and more bullet drop near the end. Having an 800 meter rangefinder seems a bit impractical and I think a 200 meter rangefinder would have been more useful to have instead. Now that's all I had for you guys in this 6x scope video. I hope you learned something and if you did, subscribe to the channel to stay updated on future content. I will also be uploading this data to Twitter, so make sure to follow me on Twitter to get these useful images. And I'll see you guys next time.